Aloha mai kako. My name is David Lassner and I serve as the president of the University of Hawaii, leading our 10 campus system and our flagship University of Hawaii at Manoa. We serve these islands, which are the ancestral home of the Kanaka Maoli, or native Hawaiian people. My own ancestry involves centuries of wandering, but I am now privileged to make my home in lush Waiomao within Palolo Valley, in the Ahupua'a of Waikiki, within the Moku of Kona on the island of Oahu. I am personally grateful to this place and her people, both of which have embraced me for over four decades. Over 125 years ago, Queen Lili'u Okalani yielded the Hawaiian Kingdom in these territories under duress and protest to the United States to avoid the bloodshed of her people. And it was nearly 30 years ago that the U.S. government formally apologized for this act, which it has acknowledged as an illegal overthrow. As the only public institution of higher education in Hawaii, the University of Hawaii is strategically clear in our commitment to become a model indigenous serving institution committed to the sustainability of Hawaii's people, islands, language, culture, and knowledge. This strategic imperative is named Hawaii Papa Okeao, or the Hawaii Foundation of Enlightened Knowledge. So today I welcome you all and I offer up an invitation to join us in celebrating the University of Hawaii's ongoing contributions to the advancement of indigenous Hawaiian knowledge. Mahalo. Aloha mai kako. I am Maynette Kapiahiokalani Patikinani Benham, Chancellor of the University of Hawaii West Oahu and Co-Chair of Hawaii Papa o Keau with Chancellor of Maui College, Dr. Louis Hokowana. Hawaii Papa o Keau was established in January 2012 and consists of representatives from all 10 campuses. The purpose of this presidentially appointed committee is to set goals and objectives to address the higher education needs of Native Hawaiians through three pathways, leadership development, community engagement, and Hawaiian language and cultural parity. At our first meeting this school year, our discussions focused on how our Native Hawaiian students, faculty, and staff and their families were managing this challenging time. Committee members shared that folks on their campus were feeling isolated, disconnected, and depressed due to the psychosocial, emotional, and economic impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. So we asked, what could Hawaii Papa Okeao do and after some discussion led by Tapori Tangaro, representative from Hawaii Community College, we decided that we wanted to address indigenous well-being through the nourishment that can be found in the abundant talent and knowledge across our campus communities. Hence, the birth of the inaugural Hawaii Papo Keao series, He Ukana Aloha Ka Kilo Wea. Mahalo for joining us today, and we hope to see you and your family and friends every month through June of 2021 as we lovingly share this makana with you. E nā nea kākou i ka ike kūpuna i ho'owili ai mai ki kilo mai. Enjoy and be enriched by the wisdom passed down from our kūpuna through so many generations to us today. Aloha. No tihi la we a te aloha la ahana li o ka ke le ta moana la ahana holo ma mua holo ma ho pe la ahana ta upo no ta i hui te me te hani la ahana ho
המהמה מהאלים. Aloha mai kāko, and welcome. Here we are together. I welcome you from the University of Hawaii Maui College. And you have transferred me from one to the first session of a Kanaloha Kaki Kilauea being presented today by uh, those of us here at the Maui College. So let us begin. What is a ka'au? Along with mo'olelo, mele, and olelo no'eau, ka'au form the oral and written literature of Hawaii. Within all of the, these forms are the collective mind and voice of Hawaiians. Also within these forms are the Hawaiian worldview, cultural expectations, land management, ocean management, hydrology, medicine, psychology, timekeeping, weather and climate, and the creation of all things. The greatest contribution that Ka'au gives to Hawaiian society is that it often teaches a moral or lesson. Oftentimes, mele, hula, and olelo no eau are included in the storytelling. A strong theme that often resonates throughout Ka'au is intergenerational transfer of cultural knowledge, cultural behaviors, and connections to people and places. These stories were often place-based and thus connected people through these places. In Ka'au, the following were often present. Proper names of people and places, environmental phenomenon like wind, rain, cloud formations, rainbows, environmental items like plants and animals. It can record an event or explain why something exists. It can share cultural knowledge and it is oftentimes timeless. We continue, continue to tell these stories today to establish relationships, to make connections to place, to learn, and to remember. We continue to create stories, mele and olelo no eel, to house our memories today. These connections are cultural, cross-cultural, and global, lending to the universality of storytelling. Thus, I would like to invite John Villarimo of Moloka'i to join us. Aloha kako. We are all familiar with the many stories of Maui. We, hear, we heard of them being the youngest brother who is described as being mischievous and a trickster. We oftentimes associate these stories as mere children's stories. However, through these ka'au, we understand histories, lessons learned, and the Hawaiian worldview. We appreciate the great deeds of Maui and what he has done for us as a people. We recognize that there are many other versions of the Maui ka'au, and they are correct for the island they live on and the community they come from. However, these stories that we will be sharing come from the island of Maui and what we grew up learning as children. Let's take a quick look at some of Maui's most famous ka'au. In the story of Maui and how he fished out the islands, we learned that Maui wasn't a good fisherman as his brothers were and they never wanted to take him fishing beyond the reefs because he wouldn't catch any fish. One day he pleaded with his brothers to take him and that he would catch the great Ulua Pimoi. After some hesitation, they agreed. They left the area of Kipahulu and headed south. During their fishing expedition, the brothers were only catching sharks and grew impatient with him. Just then he baited his magical fish hook, Ma Naya Kalani, with the bird of Hina, 
He dropped his line and before long snagged a large bite. After two days of fighting his large catch, his line finally gave some slack. He instructed his brothers to paddle as hard as they could and not look back. As they paddled, Maui pulled, the earth trembled. One brother looked be behind. <clears throat> and Maui's line snapped. His fish hook flew to the sky. What we have left of his catch are the islands he pulled up and the Manaya Kalani constellation in the heavens. In the ka'au of Maui lifting the sky, we learned that the sky lay upon the land to the point that people could not walk upright, our kanaka mahi'ai could not farm, and kanaka lava'ia could not fish. Food, food couldn't grow properly and the sun couldn't shine through to light up the land. At that time, Maui was living with his mother in Hana, Maui. Hina told Maui to seek out his daughter, Noi Noi Uakea, and drink from her umeke, or calabash. Hina told him that by doing so, Maui would gain the strength needed to separate the sky from the land. Maui did exactly as he was told. Once he drank the vai from the umeke, he had the strength to lift the sky. He lifted the sky up first to the top of Kauiki Hill in Hana. He continued to push the sky up into the uplands of Hana to Kaihu Okala, then continued to the top of Haleakala, where he finally threw it to where the sky rests today. Maui then returned to his mother, Hina. There in Hana, the sun now shone, the breeze blew through the land, and the people were able to successfully farm and fish. In, the one, in this Maui Ka'au, one of his most well-known Ka'aus, the story of how Maui slowed the sun, this Ka'au starts on the east side of Maui as well, in the village of Hana. Here, Maui's mother asked him to please slow down the sun as it travels across the sky too quickly for her kapa to dry. It travels too fast for anybody to complete their daily tasks. She advised him to seek out his grandmother to learn how to complete this task. Maui was instructed by his grandmother to travel to Pailoko, Waihe'e, which is on the opposite side of Maui. After traveling for several days, he arrived at Pailoko and he then made himself kaula out of the rope or rope out of the coconut that grew there. From there, he was instructed to travel up Haleakala to Pu'u Ula Ula. Once he was there, he waited for the sun to puka over the horizon. Once Kala began to rise, Maui traveled across the crater floor onto, until he reached Kaupo Gap. At the right moment, Maui threw his kaula up and lassoed the first of many rays of the sun. One by one, he captured all of Kala's strongest rays. Kala tried to fight Maui off, but failed. Eventually, the two agreed that the sun would travel across the sky slowly during the summer months and pick up speed during the winter months. Maui returned home to Hana, happy knowing that his mother could finish drying her kapa. The people of Hawaii were able to complete more of their kuleana with longer days during the summer months. Another great feat that Maui accomplished was being able to learn the secret of fire. Like many, Ma many of Maui's ka'au, his inspiration to find the secret of fire was because of his mother, Hina. In this particular ka'au, Hina requested some fish to eat, so one day he and his brothers went fishing beyond the reefs. Once they began to paddle out, Maui noticed a smoke cloud billowing up from the upland forests. The knowledge of fire and cooked food were lost to Kanaka at that time. So Maui quickly instructed his brothers to turn the canoe around and head back to shore so he could hunt down the source of the smoke. Upon reaching the area where the smoke came from, he noticed the fire was extinguished and no one was around. This went on for a few days. He would notice the smoke and try to find it, but always finding an extinguished fire and no one around. 
Finally, Maui decided that in order to outsmart these fire makers, he needed to create a decoy and place it in the canoe with his brothers for when they go out to fish. The next morning, when his brothers were getting ready to go out to fish, Maui placed his decoy in the back of the canoe so that it looked like he was fishing with them. Maui waited in the hillside until the cloud of smoke rose above the forest line. Once he saw the smoke, Maui raced to that location. Upon reaching there, he found a flock of alai birds trying to stomp out the fire. He jumped out and captured one by the neck. He spent the next few hours trying to squeeze the secret of fire out of alai so that he could prepare a hot meal for his mother and people could warm themselves on cold days and nights. Finally, Alai revealed that Maui needed to rub two wooden sticks together to make fire. As a punishment for withholding this secret, Maui burnt a mark on the forehead of the Alai, which remains to this day. Maui returned to his mother and the village with the Aunaki and the Aulima sticks, and all Kanaka now have the ability to cook food. In the Ka'au of Maui and Ope'ape'a Makavalu, we learn that Maui's wife, Kumulama, is stolen from Hana by Ope'ape'a Makavalu, the eight-eyed bat, and taken to Hilo. In order to save her, Maui's mother, Hina, told him to seek out his grandfather, Ku'olokele, on the slopes of Haleakala. Once he finds him, Hina tells Maui to throw a rock at his grandfather's back to help straighten it. Once Maui does this, his grandfather will know who Maui is and provide him with clear instructions on how to save his wife. Maui's grandfather instructed him to construct a lupe or kite that he would use to fly over to Hilo to where Ope'ape'a Makavalu live in a cave off the Wailuku River. Once arriving in Hilo, He would, Maui's grandfather instructed him to then scoop out the eyes of Ope'ape'a's eight eyes, drink them, and then cut off his head. By doing this, Maui would ingest the eight eyes and then have the ability to makavalu, or see the many facets of knowledge. Maui did exactly as he was told, and he was able to save his wife from Ope'ape'a makavalu. They returned home safely and Maui now possessed the ability to makavalu, which he used to better, better the lives of his community. At this time, we would like to welcome Kumu Hula Luana Kava'a to share with us a hula of Nahana Nui a Maui, or the great deeds of Maui. Aloha mai kako, mahalo nui John for sharing all of those mo'olelo about Maui with um, each of us. Now what we're gonna do is, this is the time to get everybody up from your chairs. Um, if you're like me, you sit most of the day. So we're gonna kui luna, we're gonna get up, you're gonna hemo, take off any kalipa, anything that you have on your feet. And we're going to learn this hula together. So we are using the mele that was written by Kumuhula Mark Kili Ho'omalu. Um, and most of us are really familiar with this mele. Um, it's also done with a, an interesting beat to it, very lively and energetic. So this is a time for us to be energized as well. So with me today is my soon-to-be daughter in love, Sierra, and she is going to be the kino or the body that is uh, the olapa of the olapa of the dancer. So I'll be giving you instruction and Sierra will use her body to demonstrate um, each of the motions. So the first thing we want to do is just um, get everybody makaukau by standing with your feet shoulder width apart. So the width between your shoulders is the width that you want here between your feet. You want to be balanced and your weight to be distributed evenly on the ako on the right and on the hema on the left as well. So Sierra is the um, model or the example for that. Nice and balanced. Now your lima, we're going to put our lima on our kikala, on our hips here. So wahine, we're going to leave our hands open like this with the uh, fingers facing forward. 
And it's as if you're grabbing hold of your hips, right where your love handles are or supposed to be, okay? Supposed to be. And for the kane, we're going to just fist up like this and place it in the same area right where the hips, um, well, wahine have a little bit more hip there, yeah, but kane, you can find that hip bone right there and place your hands on it. Now, um, this is going to be our beginning stance, and this is the, the positioning that you want to be in um, at all times when we're not actually dancing the mele, okay? So at the very beginning, we're going to bring our hands up to the chest here, okay? Uh, the middle fingers are almost touching. Notice that the shoulders um, are dropped, yeah, not up like this. Notice that the elbows are up and that the thumbs, we don't want to hang our thumbs down. We want to bring the thumbs up this way, okay? So nice posture, back is straight. And this is going to be the beginning motion when we begin um, the mele itself. All right, so lima ilalo, we can put our hands down and relax. We're just going to begin by getting into that stance once more. No, Laila. Let's put our hands on the kikala, on our hips, and make sure that our feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to bring our lima now to our chest. Yeah, right in front of us. Elbows are up, shoulders are relaxed. And Sierra is going to demonstrate the two steps that we need to do or we need to know in order to dance this mele. So only two steps that you have to remember. The first is very basic and very ma'alahi, very, very easy to do. We're going to aiha'a, bend the knees. Now, when we bend the knees, make sure that the back remains straight, that we're not hunched over, okay? And we're going to point with the akau, with the right foot, at an angle, at a 45 degree angle. And then we're going to bring that right foot back together. Now, we're evenly spaced, our feet are evenly spaced, and our weight is evenly distributed. We're going to do that on the hema or on the left. We're going to point with our foot in the left, now to the left in that 45 degree angle. And then we're going to bring it back even again with the weight evenly distributed. So the motion looks like this. Ready, two, three, pa, hella, back. Sorry, ready, two, three, pa, forward and back. Forward and back. Sorry, sorry, one more time. Ready, two, three, pa. And forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and lava. Okay, so throw me off because get the delay. So I have to remember. <laughs> no look. Okay, so no look. I'm going to just pa'i my ipu and not look and focus on Sierra. Okay, sorry about the delay. That's the most a key, key thing about teaching hula on Zoom or any kind of platform like this is the delay. So bear with us. All right. So we're going to hello one more time. Okay. And I'm going to focus. All right. Here we go. Feet are shoulder width apart. Lima come up to the chest. We're going to bend our knees. Aiha'a. Ready. Hella. Two, three. And forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Maika yako. Hema. Ako. Hema. Ako, hema, ako, and lava. Okay, I did a little better that time. I didn't look. Maikai. Hopefully, you're getting it. The blood should be flowing. You kind of feel that energy going through your body. Maikai. If you're a little bit sore, maikai. You're doing it correctly. Okay, maikai loa. Now, the second step is what we're going to do in between each verse. So we call that our pa. And the pa, the lima is going to, the lima, let's see, this would be your, and are they mirror to us? Or are they, okay, mirror to us. So the lima hema, your left hand is up at the chest, and the right arm is extended out to the side. And then notice the posture again. The shoulders are dropped, elbows are up, full extension. Don't be moloa, okay? We know what moloa. We want full extension. And the feet, we're going to step with the right foot, we're going to point with the left foot like a hella, bring it back, and pop the knees, uehe. Okay, then we're going to switch to the other side with our hands in the opposite direction. We're going to step with the left, point with the right, bring it back, and pop the knees again, uehe. Now, you can uehe however you uehe. 
I, just because you uwehe forward and I uwehe open or you uwehe halfway in between, aye ya oi, doesn't matter. Whatever hello you learn from, you uwehe the way you uwehe, okay? So my hopo hopo, don't worry about that. So we're gonna demonstrate the pa one more time, focusing on Sierra. And here we go, ready, two, three, and step, point, back, uwehe. Step, point, back, uwehe. Step, point, back, uwehe. Step, point, back, uwehe. I wanna point out, notice with Sierra that when her hands move, her eyes follow. So, kuhi no kalima, hele no kamaka. Where the hands point in hula, the eyes follow. But I like to clarify that the whole head needs to turn. Don't just try to turn your eyes, okay? Make sure the whole head turns and follows your lima from side to side. Okay, otherwise we might be like ope apea trying to just move our eyes to the side, okay? So whole head turns and that's what makes the hula so beautiful is you see everything dances, right? The whole body, the eyes, the face, everything dances. Okay, so those are the two steps review real quick. Here we go, hella, and oh, hands up to the chest, and let's aihaa. Here we go, ready, two, three, and hella, hella, ako, hema, ako, hema, ako, hema, one more time, ako, and lava. Mai kai, and then the pa. Hand, uh, right hand extended first. We're going to lele uwehe, step, point, back, uwehe. Ready, two, three, and step, point, back, uwehe, step, point, back, uwehe, step, point, back, uwehe. Last one, lava. Mai kailoa, pai pai lima. Good job. Good job. So now that the blood is flowing and we're Warmed up a bit, we're makoka, we're gonna go right into the mele. So I'm gonna use the words because I want you to um, understand and be able to put the motions with the words that Kumu Mark wrote for this particular mele. And what he did is he captured kind of all the different stories in this mele. So we like to use this um, for the hula part. Okay, so the first verse, the first verse says, Hanau papa ikapai moku o Hawaii. So literally talking about papa giving birth to the islands of Hawaii, uh, the Hawaiian islands, or even just the island of Hawaii, depending on the hakumele interpretation. So that lima is going to come to the front. Hands are together to begin with. We're going to have the hands together and open. Very easy. And this is all hella that we're doing for now until we move into the pa, which is done in between each verse. So hands are together. Now we're going to talk about him pulling up. So we're talking about manayakalani, the, the fish hook that had those supernatural powers to it. And we're going to pull from the left, <laughs> from the left. Now the hands are like this, like you're holding a spear, okay, um, or a hook in this case. So we're going to come from the left and we're going to pull up at an angle to the right. Okay, and we want to see that hooky motion, that pulling motion. So all together, hands are together and we open and we hooky from the side and up. And that's the first verse. Okay, so we're going to put it together with the feet and you're going to focus in on Sierra. She's going to do motions and footwork at the same time. So here we go. We're going to pa'i the ipu four counts. And then, so bring your hands up and we're going to ai ha'a. Here we go. And good. Bend the knees. Ha no. Hella. Close and open and hooky and up. Good. Maika'i. And Sierra was polole. We do that twice. So each verse is done twice, and then we go into the pa in between each verse. So let's hanaho one more time. First verse, hano. So we're going to bring the hands up. Maika'i and aiha'a, bend the knees. Hano, hands together and open, pull from the left to the right. Hanaho, hands together, open, pull, and up. Maika'i loa. Now we're going to put in the pa. 
So we finish that verse twice, and then we're going to move into the paw. So remember the paw is um, hands to the side, step point, back, uehe, step point, back, uehe. This is the lele uehe. So we're going to put all of that together, the verse and the pa. We're going to practice that. And then we're going to move to poku elua, to our second verse and the second mo'olelo. Okay, makoko. Hands up. Aiha up, bend the knees. Hano, hella. Hands closed and open. Now pull and up. Hands together, open. Side and up. Pa, step, point, back, uehe, step. Point back uehe. And yes, we're going to clap after each verse. Okay? All six verses, we're going to clap because for some of us, this is really getting out of our comfort zone. Maybe it's the first time you hula. Welcome. Where have you been? Yeah, hula is wonderful. Of course, Akumu Hula would say that. So, um, Good job. Now we're going to move into the second verse. So now we have to start remembering. So we're going to put the first verse a little bit back and our focus is going to be on the second verse. So let me read you the words for the second verse so we can peel that together. So in the second verse, we're talking about wakea. O wakea i kaulanai kahonua, ho'oku'u o maui i ke kaumaha is what the hakumele writes. And so we're talking about wakea right? Also known as Sky Father. And then it says that um, the weight of the heavens makes Maui squat down. So this is what John was referring to in the Mo'olelo. So for this verse, we're going to continue with Hela. So remembering that we're only doing Hela and the Lele Uehe for the Pa. So in this verse, the hands are going to come up together like this and then open with the palms facing towards you. So we're going palms facing out, now palms facing towards you, okay? And then we're going to bring the palms back to the front and we're going to bring it down and our body is going to bend a little bit like Maui's body did with the weight, okay? So we're going to focus in on Sierra. We're going to do that with Hela and we're ready. Hands are up. We're going to aihaa. Bend the knees. Owakea up. And open coming down. Good. Okay, so up and open. Bring it down to the shoulders. Okay, down to the shoulders. Meikai, let's hana hold that and we're going to do it twice. Okay, owakea. Bend the knees. Owakea up and open. Bring it down to the shoulders. Up and open. Bring it down to the shoulders. Meikai. Oh, and we forgot the pa. Oh, we're going to hana ho one more time. Okay, and this time we, we're going to put the pa in so that we get that whole transition in the second verse. So we hana ho one more time, bending the knees. Ai ha a. Three. O wa kea. Up and open. Bring it down to the shoulders. And up and open. Bring it down. Pa. Lele uehe. Back uehe. Step point. Back uehe. Mai ka iloa. Woohoo! Okay, we're gonna do the third verse. We're moving right along, getting your exercise for the day. Okay, in the third verse, we're going to um, continue to Hela, and this one is Akaluna. Akaluna o Kauiki Kie Kie, the top of majestic Kauiki, Ihapayai Kanui Kanui Kino. Pushed up is the great body. Okay, so we are going to, our hand motions are going to come up. Right hand is up, left hand is at the chest, akaluna, and then switch. Left hand is extended out, right hand is at the chest. Now two hands come up, oh, kalame, from here to the shoulders and up. Maikai. So akaluna, one and two, and shoulders and push it up, and one and two and shoulders push it up okay and that's all hella and then we go into the pa in between that so here we go i ha bend the knees akaluna up one and two push it from the shoulders and up stretch right and left 
and shoulders and pa and step point back uehe step point back uehe my kai we're halfway there my kai loa so what we're going to do is since we're at the halfway mark we're going to do it with the music so we're going to do the first three verses with kumu mark chanting it for us and then we'll learn the second half and we'll be pau you'll have learned a whole mele so here we go Okay, Sarah Makokau, Mikai, here we go. If Omaku Kau, I know Hanalui Amawi. Bending the knees. Palo, and hands together. Together and open. Side and hooky. Good. Together, open. Left side. Hooky. Now, pa, step, point, back, uwe, his step. Point, back, up, open, Point back. Hey, we'll have a peel. I know All right. Breathe. Stretch if you need to. Stretch the uha. Stretch the arms out if you need to. We might be using muscles we never use for a long time because we've been in a pandemic, right? So make sure we're using, we're stretching those muscles out. Now we have three more. Four more verses, sorry. And so we're going to go into Kaholoholo. And in this verse now, we're talking about the sun, okay? The, the racing of the sun in the sky. And then it is caught by this, um, he refers to it as the Kaulaoho or the hair cord. So the hands are gonna be down this way. So hands are, uh, fingers are pointed down. And we're gonna go down and come up and make the sun, okay? So here we are, down and Sun. Now we're going to reach out with both the left and the right into the 45 degree angle. Bring the right back right to the hairline where your hairline is supposed to be of your po'o. Okay, so if your hairline is somewhere else, just imagine where it was. Okay, so we're going to reach out here from that angle, bring it back to the hairline. Okay, so we're coming down and sun and reach angle and here, okay? Down and sun and angle and hair. And that's all hella and then into the paw. So let's do it with Sierra demonstrating for us. Bending the knees, ai ha a. Ka holo holo, down and sun, reach out and hair. And down and sun, reach out, out and hair. Pa, step, point. Back, uehe, step, point, back, uehe. How was that? Maikai? Okay, that is the fourth verse, ka holo holo. So now we're going to go right into the fifth verse. Whew, we're working hard today. Okay, so in the fifth verse, now we're talking about opea pea. If you were listening to John and his ha'i mo'olelo telling us the stories, opea pea is what? The bat, yeah, the bat, okay? So we're going to talk about the ope'a'pe'a. Oh, I see your ope'a'pe'a. <laughs> Maika'i, okay? We're going to talk about the bat now. So we're going to do a manu motion with our hands extending out. So we're going to come from our shoulders and extend out. And then we're going to angle it as if the ope'a'pe'a is flying. So the left hand is up. Right hand is down, and we make a swooping motion with our hands. And then the other opposite side, swooping motion with the hands. So it looks like this from the shoulders and out and swoop and swoop. Ooh, beautiful. Now let's have Sierra. Oh, just kidding. That's one verse ahead of where we're supposed to be. So luckily we have Sierra. Now you already know the next verse, so we're good. We're going to move back one, 
Okay, using our brains again, you have to reverse back a little bit. We're, we forgot, I forgot, ua lave pio, okay? So ua lave pio, no need worry, because it's really simple, okay, very simple. Clasp the hands together, hold for two hella, one and two, and now we're talking about the aunaki. So we're going to bring the hand like this, straight out, like a stick, because we're talking about sticks to make the fire, and then bring it up nice and tall. Okay, so ualave pio, clasp the hands together, one and two, and stick to make fire. See, I told you it was easy. Okay, so let's try that one. Ualave pio, and here we go, Sierra. Two, three, hella, and clasp, and hold, and stick, and up, and clasp, and hold, and stick, and up. Pa, step, point, back, uehe, step. Point back uehe. Oh, my kai, my kai loa. Even when I make mistake, you guys just flow right into it. So that is ualave pio. Then we go into ope apea. Okay, so ope apea, the manu motion, and open, and swoop, and swoop, and manu, and open, and swoop, and swoop. Maikai. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it from Ualave Pio. Yeah, let's take it from Ualave Pio so that we can process those two verses and get that pa'a in our minds. So we're going to come back up with the hands at the chest, feet shoulder width apart. Ai ha'a, Ualave Pio, hella, one. And two, make your stick and bring it up. And clasp, and two, and stick, and up, pa, one, two. Three, uehe, step, point, back, uehe. Ope, ape, a, kalamai. Ready, two, three, and manu, and open, and swoop, and swoop. And manu, and open, and swoop, and swoop. Pa, step, point, back, uehe, step, point, back. Whoo! My kai. My kai. Okay. Before we go into the next verse, I want to try just those verses, those new verses with the music, okay? So let's see where we're at. Okay, right there. That's perfect. Go back it up a little. Here we go. We're going to do it from Ualave Pio. Here we go. Ua lave pio, hold, two, stick, bring it up, and clasp, and two, and stick, and up, pa, step, point, back, uehe, step, point, oh, pea, pea, one, oh, ah, got it, she got it, follow her, don't listen to me, pa, now, ope apea, here we go, and manu, manu, and open, and swoop, and swoop, and manu, and open, and swoop, and swoop, pa, lele uehe, step, point, back, uehe, woohoo! Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna go over those three again, so we, so I get the right order, okay? So we wanna make sure that we do ualave pio. Yeah, clasp, and then the aunaki, bringing up the stick, okay? And then we pa, two, three, tap, two, three, tap. Now, kaholo holo, we can't forget the verse about the hair, okay? So we're down and sun, and we're stretching out to the left and bringing the right hand to the hairline, and down and sun, and stretch out, to the hairline and pa, two, three, and pa. Now the back and manu and out and swoop and swoop and manu and out and swoop and swoop. Pa, two, three, pa, two, three. Woo, my kailoa. My kailoa. Okay. Now we have the right order. We, there's lots of verses, so we want to make sure we get them all in the right order. And I believe we are on the second to the last verse. So we are on the verse that says ho'alu. So this is the verse 
we're continuing to talk about uh, Ope'apea. But in this verse, we're talking about how Maui um, destroys Ope'apea. Okay? So what does Maui do? He gouges out the eyes and then he cuts off his head. Okay? So we're going to demonstrate that in the hula. Okay? So bringing like claws, making your hands like claws right in front of your face and then open and then bring it right from the po'o like this and lift it up. Yeah, a little bit violent, but that's okay. That's what happened. Okay? So we're going to do that with the hula, with our feet for the hella. And we're going to angle our bodies when we do it. Okay? So we're going to angle here. Hella, open. And oh yeah, so open on one side. Open. And then we're gonna hella um, on the hema and lift. So it's quick. The motions are quick. So we're gonna have Sierra demonstrate. Ready, two, three, and open. And oki the po'o. Okay, so ready one more time. Let me look at the, make sure we got the words. So that'll help out a little bit. So um, po alo, po alo na maka. Ready, two, three, and po alo na maka oki ia ka po o pa kele o maui i kona manu. Okay, all right. So, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I was gonna teach the next part. Okay, so after we gouge the eyes and rip off the head, then I know that sounds so like wow. Okay. And we get this kind of mo'olelo too in our culture, just like other cultures. So then we bring it down into this, okay? Maui was saved, pakele i kona manu, saved by his bird, okay? So let's do that, um, just the hand motions. I. Oh, good question. Yes, so right hand in front of the left hand. Yeah, good question. So we're going to... Gouge the eyes, rip the head, and then now we safe. Okay? Gouge the eyes, rip the head, now we safe. Okay, so we'll try that with the footwork. Ready, two, three, and gouge the eyes, rip the head, we safe. Two, and gouge the eyes, rip the head, we safe. Two, and pa, two, three, pa. Two, three. Oh, Maika Iloa. Whatever it takes to help you remember. And when I've taught this in the past, gouge the eyes, rip the head. Everybody remembers that verse for some reason. Okay. So whatever words, whatever helpful things connect you, connect the hula to the mele for you, use it. All right. So last verse is Haina. We're going to close it out. And then we're going to do it from the very beginning. We're going to Take a little few seconds to breathe before we do that and clear our minds and we're going to do it from the very beginning. So let's finish out with the haina. So haina, left hand is at the chest and right hand is at the mouth. And we're going to extend from the mouth to the right 45 degree angle. So mouth and out. We're going to come up and we're going to make a triangle motion here for Maui. And we're going to bring it down nice and strong. Okay, So we know Maui and his supernatural strength, and we're talking about that in this part. So again, mouth, extend to the right 45 degree angle, make the triangle motion, and come down strong, and look at the right hand on that. Okay, And then we go into the paw. Actually, it repeats itself at the end. So we go mouth and out, triangle, strong, and mouth. And out, triangle, strong, up, triangle, strong, and po. We're going to end it. Okay? All right. So let's try it. Let's try it with the music for those verses. Okay? Okay. So we're going to take it from the verse po'alu. Let me back it up a little bit. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we'll 
Gouge the eyes, rip the head, safe. Gouge the eyes, rip the head, safe. Pa, and step, point, back, uwe, his step. Point ha in the mountain out. Triangle, nice strong motion. Ha in the mountain out. Triangle and strong motion. Triangle up. And we step forward. See how Sierra stepped forward with the right foot. So she stepped forward with the akko. The left is at the chest and the right hand is extended forward. And our kahea is hey no no maui. Okay, hey, no, no, maui. My kai. Okay, were there any other Nino in the chat box? No, we're good. All right. Molila, from the top. Woohoo! Okay, Sierra, you got this, right? All, I think there's actually seven verses, I think, in this one. Eight verses. Woo! Okay, from the very beginning, we're gonna have Kumu Mark chant for us. Okay. We're going to start now. Let's just really quickly recall. Fast kind. We're going to recall the verses. Okay. So first verse, Hano, hand start from the bottom. Papa is giving birth. Okay. Pulling it up. Manaya kalani. Second verse, Owakia. We're going to reach up. Maybe we can um, put it on Sierra for the motions. Yeah, good. Reach up and open. And now we're going to bring it down to the shoulders. Meikai. Akaluna. Right hand up. Left hand up and bring it from the shoulders and up. Meikai, then it's ua lave pio. Clasp the hands to make your stick and up. Now kaholo holo, the sun and the hairline. Here we go, out and hair. Meikai. Now the next verse is the bat, our ope ape a manu and two and swoop and swoop. Meikai. Now we're gonna gouge the eyes and rip the head, poalo. Gouge the eyes, rip the head, safe. Two, and then ha'ina, mouth and out. Triangle and strong. Here we go with the music from the top. Okay, ho'oma hands on the hips, feet shoulder width apart. Bring the hands up to the chest, and we're gonna bring that right hand out for the four count. Watch Sierra and follow her. Ha'ina, hallelujah, Ah, no, together, hands down, open, pull it up from the left to the right, hands down together, open, pull it from the left to the right, ha, oh, walk here, together and open, now bring it down to the shoulders, together and open, bring it down to the shoulders, ha, Back, uwehe, akaluna, right hand up, and right, left, shoulders, push up, good, and right, left, push up from the shoulders, two, and, good, ua la pio, clasp the hands, hands together, make your stick, make a clasp together, make your stick, pa, Okay, now the sun, ka holo holo, bring it down and up to the sun. Reach out, bring it to the hair. And down, up to the sun, reach out, bring it to the hair. Pa. Now we're getting ready for ope up at the back. Manu, manu, and open, and swoop, swoop, and manu, and open, and swoop, and swoop. Pa, step, point, back, uwehe, step. Ripping the eyes, gouge, rip the head off, safe, good, good, and pa, two, three, tap, ha, ina, and mouth, and out, triangle, strong, and mouth, and out, triangle, one more time, up, triangle, strong, and step forward. Hey, no, no, no Maui. Mai Kai. On behalf of Sierra and I and all of our UH Maui, um, Maui campus, Ohana, Mahalo Nui for this opportunity to share a little bit of aloha with you. Mahalo. Oh, I thought you, I thought you was going to close us out. Oh, okay. Mai Kai, Mai Kai.
Mahalo Kumuluana and Sierra for that wonderful hula. Um, just uh, some friendly reminders for our webinar for next week. We will be doing um, a cooking class with it. So to have yourself three cooked uwala, so make sure they're cooked. Um, a can of coconut milk of your choice, a knife, cutting board, a bowl, and either a fork, spoon, or a potato masher. Um, that would be what you'll need for next week's webinar and activity that we have planned. We want to mahalo the following for their visionary approach to the well-being of all the UH campuses through this series known as He Ukana Aloha Ka Kilauea, President David Lasner, University of Hawaii Maui College Chancellor Louis Hokoana, Hawaii Papa Okeao Committee, and all the presenters today, mahalo.